Greetings and welcome to this edition of Time Warp. Brought to you from the not too distant past by this 2009 CBR 1000 RR Repsol edition. While this bike may not be technically a vintage or classic super bike, uh, considering it's a couple months away from being 13 years old, I figured I'd include it in the Time Warp series. Um, this bike is again another example of a one owner, low mile, pristine leader bike. I bought this bike brand new in 2010, about 12 years after I purchased my 98 R1 which was about 12 years after I purchased a, not that particular GSX-R750, but a GSX-R750. So this was my cure for the 12 year itch, I guess. Um, we will have to see what's on the menu for 2022. Anyway, so I'll do, try and do a quick overview uh, of performance and upgrades, mods, whatnot. Um, engine wise, the motor is completely stock. We did an ECU flash by Woolwich along with a data logger and a Woolwich quick shift. Uh, this bike primarily sees uh, track day time and a few trips down to Deals Gap in the Smokies. Uh, but um, mileage, I believe, is 28, 2,900 miles. Um, but this bike has never touched the ground, not in my garage, not on the track, not on the street. It is absolutely pristine, partially in thanks to uh, paint protection film I had put on this when it was brand new. I don't know if it'll show up on the camera, but uh, extensive coverage, the whole front end, the headlights, the mids, and the uh, gas tank were covered in, um, you know, the primary wear areas. Um, and while it wasn't cheap, it was definitely worth the investment. This bike does not have a scratch, a nick anywhere on it. The taillight was also covered um, along with the undertail section, which is uh, prone to a lot of rock chips. So certainly has worked out good. Frame is spotless, swing arm spotless, motor, wheels. Uh, guys I have changing tires know how particular I am and they take good care of my stuff when they do change tires. Tires on this bike are Pirelli Diablo Super Corsa SP V2s. Um, so I'll start running through some of the upgrades. Uh, 520 chain conversion. It's an EK 3D GP 520 chain. Super Sprocks rear sprocket. Vortex front and a cool custom sprocket cover. Uh, got a lot of Rizoma on here. Um, called uh, Italian Jewelry for Motorcycles. Rizoma rear sets, Rizoma case sliders, Rizoma bar end, uh, CRG folding levers. Got a converter bar, infinitely adjustable handlebars. If you've never seen these, they're quite unique. Not cheap, but really nice for um, adjustability. Got uh, Driven axle sliders front and rear. Core moto braided lines. Got uh, Olin's NIX 30 fork cartridges. Custom cell phone mount for those days up in the mountains with a GPS. Works out good. And the Olin's TTX GP shock. Uh, length adjustable, compression rebound adjustable, and hydraulic preload adjustable. Also has a beautiful Leo Vinci GP Pro exhaust. And what else? That's about it that I can think of. I'm sure I'm missing some things. And 
a custom Repsol Champions Edition decal, which I uh, rendered off of uh, Axial Backpack, which I'll show you here in a little bit with the accessories. So let's uh, do a quick start and let you hear this thing bark. I noticed a uh, Rizoma trick little oil filler cap. Pain in the ass actually to work with, but cool as hell. Rizoma reservoir cover. Um, and a uh, aftermarket hugger. The hugger on these are pathetic. Um, so that's about it on the bike that I can think of. This thing uh, after the Woolwich Flash and uh, program and dyno time on it. We ended up getting around, I think it was 161, 162 at the rear wheel. Uh, pretty happy with that. And uh, along with the electronic speed limiter being eliminated, don't ask me how I know. <clears throat> um, but so I've heard. Uh, anyways, uh, so as far as all the accessories on the bike, all the stock parts are available, rear sets, mirrors. I don't run mirrors on the bike. Typically, I run a bar mirror on the street, and I've got those trick uh, Pingle Enterprise mirror block-off plates with a little custom twist to them. Um, but yeah, the exhaust was uh, basically a new takeoff. Got the stock seat. This is uh, Honda's accessory E-seat, energy seat, or whatever they called it. Kind of cool. Anyways, at the time I bought everything Honda had for this pretty trick little tank bag for a super bike. And believe it or not, it fits a lot of stuff in there. Not that I really used it, but I did test it. Stuffed it full of underwear and socks and t-shirts. A uh, really nice Lycra stretch indoor Repsol cover. It's the original paperwork from the purchase. Leo Vinci paperwork. Tank bag, all the spare parts for the rear sets. Stock handlebars, this is the, um, I believe that's the electronics to revert back if you want to take the Woolwich flash and electronics out of it. There is the uh, pathetic rear hugger, along with the most pathetic stock toolkit I've ever seen. And a little unobtainium, an Axio Repsol hard shell backpack. Um, those were done in like 2005, 2007, but I was fortunate enough to find a brand new one in 2010. So that's where I got the image. I scanned that and had that uh, modified a little bit for the tail section. Um, and along with another nice piece of memorabilia, this was a Honda promotional poster that the dealer was nice enough to give me when I purchased the bike. It was uh, from when Nikki Hayden won the USGP in Laguna Seca in 2006, I believe. And I was there. Good times. Um, anyways, so there you have it. This beautiful example could be yours if the price is right. Thanks again for watching, and as always, keep the shiny side up. Cheers.